All right, guys, what's up? It's Catfish Hunters. Remember to like the video and then subscribe for more awesome catfish content. All right, guys, now my top tips for you guys are location and time. Now, location is key because you can't just go anywhere to a river, lake, or pond and hope to catch a flathead. You have to be in the right place and at the right time. Now, time is key because flatheads spend 80% of the day just sitting there doing nothing, hoping bait fish come to them and they'll eat them. But at nighttime, flatheads will move around looking for their bait fish and your chances of a flathead wandering upon your bait are greatly increased. So remember to fish at nighttime and to be at the right location. All right, guys, now let's get into location. Now I would say about 70% of the areas we fish have a creek by them. Creeks are an amazing place to fish because first off they have water flow, meaning it's pushing fresh water into that river or lake wherever you're at. It means it's pushing fresh water into there and flatheads like that. Now the second factor that factors into this is bait fish. Bait fish are all up in that creek and flatheads like to go up towards the mouth of that creek and feed on the bait fish at night. Alright guys, now the second location I have for you guys is an area with fallen debris, meaning say a tree fell over in a storm into the water. That is an amazing place to catch flatheads because flatheads like to be in tight areas. So they will go up near those trees and they'll go into some tight areas and that's an amazing place to catch them because say you catch your cast your bait up from that tree and let the water the water flow or the current take your bait down not not the bait but the scent let it carry the scent trail down up into that tree and a flathead will pick up that scent and go back to your bait and get it so that will help you catch flatheads is near fallen debris all right guys now the last location i have for you guys is eddies now, if you don't know what an eddy is, imagine a straight river in front of you, and then imagine a little outlet of it to the right, to the right of the river. It's still connected to the river, but it's like a little outlet of water. Now, imagine current flowing down towards that outlet, and then some of the current hits into the outlet and causes a swirl, causes a constant swirl. Now, it's not going to be like a super constant swirl. It's not going to be fast, but it's just going to be a swirl going around. And now that's an, another amazing place to catch flatheads because flatheads will ride the river down and then they'll actually take a break in these little eddies. And there happens to be bait fish in these eddies, so it's another perfect place to catch them. Now let me give you an example why eddies are so great. So we were fishing there, we caught about five flatheads that night, but at one point, Three of our poles got bites, and we, we, we caught all three of the fish, but we caught them all within like two to three minutes of each other. Now, what we think happened was the flatheads rode that river down and then took a stop into the eddy to feed on some bait fish, and they happened to come across ours. Now, there could have been more in, in this pack of flatheads, but only three of them got to our baits. Now, that's an example of why eddies are such... A great place to fish for these flatheads. All right, guys. Now the last step I have for you guys is to have one of your baits in shallow water and one of your baits in deep water, because a lot of people think flatheads are always in the deep water, which they are in deep water, but they're not always in deep water, because like I said, flatheads will go up into those creek mouths and feed on bait fish, and creek mouths are usually shallow. Even if there's not a creek there, I would still have one of my baits in shallow water and one bait in deep water because there's still bait fish in shallower water. So always remember that when you go fishing. Have one bait shallow water, one bait deep water. Now if you guys like this video, remember to like and subscribe for more awesome catfish content. Thanks.